a river so foul with industrial waste that it caught fire. That was June 1969, the river Cuyahoga at Cleveland. The next few months saw a rise in environment awareness in the United States. The happenings spurred into action a young landscape architect at Harvard. Silent Spring had just come out and the environmental movement was just birthing and uh, a lot of politics around the environment. With a vision to bring rational thinking to this space, Jack Dangermond created a platform to ground the discussions around environmental conservation. Thus was born Environmental Systems Research Institute, better known as ESRI. My wife and I started ESRI in 1969. Uh, we were both uh, working in a lab for computer graphics and spatial analysis at Harvard University. Got this idea that we'd like to bring science into the way people did environmental planning. From the job at Harvard Lab to heading the world's largest GIS company today. GIS is about digitizing geography. So geography is the science of our world. Today, Esri is a leading player in the global geospatial industry, serving 33 vertical markets with its products and solutions. He's taken this idea and technology and the concept to almost 130 countries. But throughout this period, he's been focused on how each country can be governed better and managed better and can manage its resources better through information. The most important role Jack was playing was developing a community. And he did that by bringing the academic world, he was bringing decision makers, but also the people who had to do the work. After more than 40 years of its founding, Esri continues to be a privately owned company. It's rooted in the philosophy that private ownership means no stockholders forcing short-term decisions at the expense of long-term objectives. I was brought up uh, in a family who had started a little nursery. We grew plants, we sold plants. I learned everything about business and everything about what I do in the, in the nursery. It's about growing things and supporting customers and uh, making people happy. The Dangermans have numerous prestigious awards under their cap. Jack and Laura's five decades of passion and contribution are unmatched and unparalleled. They are unique. They have together built an institution that is transforming the world. With this next generation change of the technology, we're taking it to hundreds of millions and ultimately billions who will be affected and infected with this notion that they can apply geographic science and apply geography to make the world a better place. Jack once famously told us, Wall Street doesn't matter to us. Quarterly revenues do not matter to us. What matters to us is seeing neat stuff done to our customers. With his life and mission, Jack Dangermond has proved it.